as we have seen, it is a simple matter to set the colors of fonts, margins, etc. of each element using the appearance panel. But this means that if we want to change the overall look and style, we would need to go back and set the formatting for each and every item. This can obviously be very haphazard and time consuming. A better way would be to create a CSS style and link the style to the relevant elements using class attributes. In the following, we will create a CSS style block which sets the background color to beige. We will then apply that style to all the relevant elements. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. Go to index.html, select the body and pull up the code inspector. In the CSS panel, you will see a number of CSS blocks. The first block is an element.style. This shows the direct formatting we have done using the appearance panel. Some of the blocks have a padlock, showing that they cannot be edited. In the HTML panel, pull up the attributes tab. Add a new class named background item. This class will identify all the items where we want to set the background color. Let's open up the file styles.css. Go to the design panel, double click on styles.css to open the file. A tab named styles.css appears. In the styles panel, click on create. A new CSS block appears. I will add the same background color here. So now the direct styling we applied using the appearance panel has become irrelevant. This is the code we can see in element.style. We can remove it by clicking on the three dots in the top right hand corner of the block and select clear. Next, go to the page aboutme.html. Select the body and add the text background element to class names. As you can see, the background color is applied to this page too. Let's add the same class name to the bodies of all the other pages. When we add it to the page downloadresources.html, we see a small problem we see that a large portion of the page remains white. This is because the article list has a white background by default. We can solve this by selecting the block and then adding the class background element to this element too. As you can see, in this case, the block has more than one class. So in summary, in this case, I have simply created a CSS block named background item, which simply sets the background color. All elements which contain this background item attribute will have the background color set. If I ever want to change the color of the background, I, all I need to do is change the color over here and it will be modified for all the relevant elements. As a final thing, I'd just like to mention that even though I typed all the CSS code in this example, we don't need to type, but we can also use the appearance panel. To do that, first make sure you have selected an item which contains this attribute, and then you can select it from this drop-down list at the top of the appearance panel. From there, we can modify the CSS block in any way we see fit. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we are going to talk about responsive styling. That is, we are going to create. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing? You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.